think pro auction is something that uh, when you talk to producers, it seems like it's a fearful word right now, and I don't think it necessarily needs to be. So um, just how can we, I guess, as a support team, get in front of that and make producers more comfortable and work together to um, make the transition as smooth as possible? So obviously we're here because of pro action, talking about milk quality, animal care, food safety, biosecurity, traceability and environment, and I won't get into too much of this because I think you guys have talked quite a bit about it in the last little bit. The timeline that's posted on the pro action website, um, which sounds like it's still subject to change, um, would be that CQM's kind of done, uh, we're, the producers are already on board with that, we've already done validation, we're now looking at traceability and then animal care. So we'd like to focus our attention um, for animal care because I think we have enough time to start getting in front of in front of it. For the animal care portion, they're looking at three measurements. And of the three animal-based measurements, they're looking at body condition score, injuries, and hawk lesions. Um, because some of those kind of go hand in hand, we want to talk about lameness kind of as a whole, um, which is obviously one we want to talk to you, to you people, um, the experts in lameness and what we can do a lot of times to, to fix it. So what we've done so far is in April we had a discussion um, with our sales team on how we'd like to approach this. We just wanted to talk, start talking about proaction and how we can start working um, to in different series of sections that we can help producers get in front of proaction so that they're quite aware and they start thinking towards these things and start implementing management changes hopefully um, so that they, they do better um, when the production's here. So in May, as Vic mentioned, we had him and Jerry McDowell from Zinpro run um, some training sessions for our sales reps with the key focus being to have an idea of lameness scoring and to look a little bit about what you guys do as far as the trimmers. So we can identify, hopefully, if we need to have a conversation with you guys by looking at what we're seeing on farm. Um, we maybe will be able to help if there's someone who's not an experienced trimmer be able to mention to the producer that we should have a conversation to at least get some feedback from people and then if we know that they're doing a good job of having you people in maybe just not enough we can have that conversation as well again um, so that we can work together as a team to support that producer and, and combat them in that way. So today we're just trying to I guess deflate the elephant in the room sometimes it seems. Um, you go on some farms and the producer will say well my trimmer told me that's nutrition I have to do this. And you hear other sales reps say, well, it's not nutrition, you have to talk to your health trimmer. And it seems like sometimes we're, we're fighting battles against each other to try to solve the common problem, which is helping the producer on farm. So we're trying to have this meeting today to have that open conversation with you guys. We're going to talk a bit about nutrition and some strategies that we can implement from a nutritional standpoint, as well as to hopefully get a better relationship with you guys so that if we know there's a lameness issue on farm, we can say to the producer, hey, let's have a meeting and kind of all together tackle this. What we're also trying to do is have producer meetings within the different regions um, that we're hoping to have the trimmer who services that farm be part of and help train the different producers on what they can look at. Um, I think a lot of times producers have tunnel vision for what they see as lameness on their farm. So someone else saying that they have a lameness issue probably won't come off very well. We have to find a way to identify this and have them involved in different things that they should be looking at on farm as well. Do all your sales reps have nutritional background? Um, not necessarily, I would say. So what happens is we will hire a good sales rep, hopefully that has some nutritional knowledge. And Shergain has a program called DNA, Dairy Nutrition Advisor. With several modules so you, I heard you guys talk about cow signals a bit we have something similar like that from an observation standpoint where we do body condition score lameness scoring um, general cow traffic and flow we look at records uh, we look at nutrition and the biology behind all those things um, so it's fairly in-depth so as they're hired they go through a series of training so that they don't start with nutritional knowledge if they're kind of fresh from school and they maybe had a course or two um, that we start to build their nutritional knowledge. Okay? So, I've stolen an awful lot of slides here today from Zinpro. Um, Jerry did send me quite a lot of information, and I think it's a general consensus that Zinpro tends to be the leader in the marketplace for talking about hoof health, 
having great tools to look at as well as talking about nutrition. Um, so we want to kind of talk a little bit about infectious and non-infectious and the differences from a nutritional strategy that you may implement. Um, and it's, it's just kind of interesting to note the days in milk that you're seeing transition from infectious to non-infectious and which one's predominant in those areas. So maybe as we're going through these, just think of those things as, as why 